All right, we're gonna get ready to start our dinner up. We're gonna get the briquettes started up with our, I don't know what you'd call this thing, briquette starter upper, but it works pretty good at getting them started up, so I just stuff some paper up there, and then dump a couple briquettes in here. I'm going to put about 15 of them in there. Then I just start this up, the paper down here. And... So as we sit here getting our dinner ready, looked over there and I don't know if you guys can see but there's a deer right there just not caring that we're here at all eating got a little bit more on the briquettes here Probably about another four minutes and they'll be ready to put the dutch oven on there and start heating that up we're going to put the steak on there first brown that and then we'll add our onions and our peppers and uh, simmer those for about five minutes and then we're gonna simmer it for about an hour. I'll walk you through that as well. All right, well, I think these are burnt down enough to where I can start dumping them out and putting the Dutch oven on there to heat up. Let it heat up for a little bit and then I will throw some butter in there. All right, Dutch oven's been heating a bit. I'm gonna throw some butter up in there let that melt down and then we'll throw our steak on there brown it up I'm gonna dump the steak in here brown it up All right, our meat has been browning. We're gonna add in our vegetables. We got a sliced up onion, a sliced up bell pepper, and some sliced up mushrooms. So I'm gonna stir these up and cook these for about five minutes. All right, our vegetables been cooking down. So we're gonna add our garlic. And we're gonna stir that up and let that cook down for about a minute. And then we're gonna add in our Three cups of beef broth and one-fourth cup of Worcestershire sauce. Okay, we're going to add in our beef broth and Worcestershire sauce after this cooks down for a minute. All right, here's the three cups of beef broth and the one-fourth cup of Worcestershire sauce. I'm going to stir that up, and then we're just going to let that simmer for an hour. All right. All right, so our rice is done. Just had some... I don't know what kind of rice it is, but it's some wild rice, and we're going to throw our beef tips that we made right there, right on the top. It smells pretty good. It's kind of got like a sweet flavor smell to it anyway. Anyway, it's got, a, it's got a flavor or a scent that makes your taste buds water, let's just say that. Well, a few bites in and it's really tasty, really pretty good. Well, anyways, guys, we're going to get back to eating. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later. Bye.